everyone, my name is Zan Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we're back with more fairy tale. We are watching episodes 73 and 74. I'm excited. So we kind of finished the Daphne arc and now I don't really know where we're going. So it'll be interesting to see. So I'm very excited to watch with you all. But keep in mind, if you want to support the channel or just see the next two episodes early, you can do that by joining my Patreon page. Link down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. I couldn't be more proud of what you kids have accomplished in the last year. So to commemorate your hard work and diligence, tomorrow we will be holding the highly anticipated flower viewing party! Yay! Oh, God, you. Hi. It's the day of the free celebration. So great. Put some morons. <laughs> cool. Oh, rainbow cherry blossoms. Why the... Sakura means the same thing. I'll never get this whole flower party thing. You guys are just looking for an excuse to booze it up. Whoa, the pot's calling the kettle black. No kidding, she gives us a very day to celebrate. <laughs> every day is a celebration for Kana. Get off her back. Just lay off me. I didn't get a single number during last year's bingo game. But that just means I'll get all of the numbers this year, baby. Oh. It doesn't really work that way. Let her have her moment, man. <laughs> you people make. Yeah, let Levy believe what she wants to. She deserves that win. It's my dear Gray. He must have forgotten about the party and left with John. If my beloved isn't here, then I won't have anyone to cuddle and look at the flowers with. I'm sorry, but you know that a wizard has to earn his daily keep somehow. That's oh. funny coming from you. Lay off. Oh, He's gone. Yeah. Why? I could have helped him out. True. You could have helped him out. That's, it's honestly, it is rude of him not to take you with. We've missed you. Juvia, I missed you. The frigid peaks of Mount Hawkabay. Why are we here again? Uh, I've been here before. You think I'd know to wear something warmer? I'm freezing my rump off. Oh. She exclaims with great discomfort. I can't feel my legs. You have to get used to the elements if you're going to do work like this. Wendy is a child. She's going to die of hypothermia. Get her some clothing. Oh, it's so cold that even I'm starting to get chilly. Have you considered putting on a shirt? Yeah. Hey, not to. I'm not convinced that this herb we're looking for even exists. It sounds too good to be true. A wizard can boost their magic power just by putting this stuff in tea or cake. I bet it's got some wicked side effects, like you grow a second head or it gives you serious gas. Side effects are not our concern. The job flyer said to collect and deliver, so that's what we'll do. Okay. But if we find an excess, there's no reason we can't take some to use for bingo prizes tomorrow. Oh, actually, those are good prizes. I can't wait to get this job done so we can go back home. There's so much to do before tomorrow's party. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Aww. Just wait till you see Magnolia's cherry blossoms. Not only are they gorgeous in the daylight, but they're rainbow colored at night. It's like a dream. Tomorrow's gonna rock. That's so freaking cool. What the hell? Oh my God, I'm like actually excited to see that. That sounds beautiful. That's why I want to wrap this up and get back to Magnolia. I've got major prep to do. First, I need to make some peace, then I'll decide whether I want to wear one outfit or change it, and then I'll figure out what to do with my hair. Then I'll probably go to bed if okay, I'm working Lucy, on my Girl, okay. You definitely need to change into like a different outfit later in the night, like a rainbow one of something. So that way it looks really pretty. And then like you like kind of sparkle a bit more and maybe you'll catch like Natsu's attention. And if not, like you have Loki, so it's fine. <laughs> or the deceptive blizzard burn, also known as the white wyvern. A dragon-like beast that makes its home in high altitudes. All say, ferocious, like, these dragon? creatures are herbivores. And the herbs Natsu just found uh, are its favorite food. Got it. Duly noted, thank you. You must listen closely. Once we've got the beast distracted, grab as many of the herbs as you can. I heard like Thank you, dragon one. Hey, when are you giving us the most dangerous part of the job? Is that a problem? Uh, no, ma'am, we're all over it. You ready? Let's do this. We know not to question Urza's wisdom. Okay, Lucy, when she says jump, you just jump and wait for her to yell at you because you didn't jump high enough. Deflecting this! Uh-oh. What the heck? <laughs> Idiot! Don't you know how to dodge? Yeah, of course. But he came at us so fast! I like that she gets mad at them like, dodge, stupid. Like, Urza, they didn't know. Save her? Did no one save her? Did no one save 
cave, Lucy. Lucy, where are you? Okay. I'm here, barely. Oh, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold up. You're not gonna go? What's the matter? Trust me, you don't wanna miss Magnolia's flowers. It's not my choice. What's keeping you from going? Oh, you both blind or something? I got a nasty cold. Yeah, it's pretty obvious she's sick. Look at her, she's like dying on the floor. Talk about a major downer. This sucks. It's really bad timing. She's been super excited about it for a long time. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be some way to like magically fix like a cold. Like Wendy, could Wendy maybe like cure her? Oh, it's so pretty. I love Levy's boys. They're so cute. Let the annual flower viewing bingo tournament begin! Aww. I love that they're all hyped for bingo. Come on, Nazi, aren't you gonna play? Mm. An amazing herb rumored to temporarily increase the wizard's magic power. What? That's one of the plants that we picked yesterday! It's already wilting! Yeah, that's bound to happen when you bring it into a warmer climate. So that's it? My precious bingo! I'm sorry. Oh, what's that smell? It's bullshit. Oh, that's so sad. How were they supposed to know? Bingo! Wow, oh, I haven't gotten bingo! one number. Face the facts, this ain't your game. It's not over yet! I've got a hunch it's over for this feline. Well, maybe your hunch will be wrong this time. <laughs> We're almost out of prizes and I don't even have one row. I was hoping I could win something for Lucy so she'd have a souvenir. Aww. Bingo! Huh? All three of you? Well, this is a first. So, let's have a tiebreaker where the best short performance wins the grand prize. Short sure. performance! This is what you're competing for. Two tickets for three days and two nights of luxury at Akane Resort. Juvia needs that. It's for two? The Akane Resort. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect gift for my sister. Three days and two nights with Gray. It's too much to take. My thoughts are so hot I might evaporate. Oh. Short performance. Try not to cry when I take over the prize, you diggy. You're not competing! Get off the stage! Last I checked, you weren't even near bingo! Like, God, Jill, you didn't even stand up. Like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> it's so weird. I love him. Because that's what family does. Everyone has their own problems, oh. but they never have to face them alone. I wanted to see the short performances, though. I'm kind of disappointed. That sounded funny. No matter what, through the good times and the bad, we grow together. That's what fairy tale is all about. Cute. Are they outside her apartment? What time is it? Why is it so loud outside? Oh, no, just regular people. <sighs> That's so beautiful. Is it's this like a dream? Gorgeous rainbow sakura snow cone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Why do. Oh, um, did Natsu do that just for her? Also, there's like a bridge up there. That boat cannot go that way. You're already over your cold? Yep, I'm as good as new. We're glad to have you back, Lucy. All right, which one of you milk skulls uprooted the city's pride cherry tree? Thanks, you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you thanking us for? Yeah, we didn't do anything. Nothing at all. We swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, so for like a like filler-esque episode, I thought it was cute. I thought that was just precious. It was a nice chill episode where we just kind of got to see not only like Natsu's like dedication to like making sure everyone in fairy tale is happy, but like helping out Lucy in like her time which is cute because she didn't really get to, you know, celebrate 
the Sakura Festival the way that she wanted to, but like Natsu still helped her. And I think that's so freaking cute. And of course we also got Wendy celebrating like her first time uh, celebrating with fairy tale as well. It was just very precious. I'm a little bit sad. I, I kind of would have preferred like Lucy been there. We just had like a straight up fun episode, but like the meaning behind it was very sweet. And it was so pretty seeing like the rainbow soccer tree just like going across the water. Again, it could not actually keep going. There was a bridge there. The tree is too big. I don't, I don't, I don't even know how he did it, but it's really cute. It's very sweet. So very, very nice of Natsu to do that. <laughs> um, and then of course, yeah, we went and got the herbs that little misadventure was funny it's nice having wendy with us i am curious if wendy's going to like continue to be with us or she'll kind of be like a juvia character where we kind of like swap her and wendy out occasionally <laughs> like we can only have one blue haired girl on our mission so we'll kind of like pick and choose who's more necessary <laughs> That's my thought. I have no idea if that's going to be the case. Maybe they'll both end up coming with us. I miss Juvia is what I'm trying to say. I miss her a lot. I miss her chaotic energy. She's just such a, she's such a little treat to have. So even getting these little tiny bits with Juvia are very nice. Cause it's like, <laughs> like she likes gray. I, I don't know. It's always good for a laugh. Like even here when, um, what was the line? They're like, oh, Lucy's not coming. And then Juvia had responded with something that was just kind of like out of pocket. She was like, oh, she's finally like, hey, everybody, sorry, a little bit distracted. So if I'm repeating a little bit, apologies. Um, okay, so I really enjoyed this episode getting Wendy to kind of integrate in a little bit more with the guild members since she's still really, really new. Uh, appreciating that, you know, it seems like, Team Urza has kind of like taken her under their wing. I am hopeful that like Levy will too. I kind of was like excited for that fact. Cause like both Levy and when, uh, sorry, Lucy were like, oh yeah, she can like come with us. And I was like, oh cool. Like maybe we'll get time with like Levy's group, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. So a little bit disappointed in that. I'm sure she like went and did, but I don't know. I'm kind of sad that she didn't because I, I was hoping for more Levy. Y'all know I like Levy, okay? She's such a girl's girl. I love her. So kind of, kind of disappointed by that fact, but it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I'm not upset. Just sad. <laughs> but overall, it was a cute episode. Like, Nothing crazy or groundbreaking, but it was just nice. Just like a nice episode to show fairy tale, their festival, who they are, have cute little moments with like some of the members. And just, yeah, so I liked it. It was very cute. But let us continue watching. None of them are particularly enticing, are they? Oh my, you're back and already looking for your next job. Oh, okay. I like her little, her little pinky tails. They're so cute. I just want to like, boop, 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 boop. But don't you want to start getting into some of the big time jobs like we do? They're fun. And you can visit some cool new places. They're also dangerous. Remember what happened with Lizana? Cause I remember. Young, idealistic, and full of heart. I'll agree with that. <laughs> Thanks a lot, you guys. Lucy sure could take a page or two from her book, huh? Eh? Are you trying to say I'm not helpful or I've got no heart? Wow. Tough question. No, it's not huh? stupid cat! I'm gonna beat him to the ground one of these days, I swear. It just so happens we have a job request that's perfect for you. <laughs> this poor person is in dire need of a wizard who can soothe his heart. It doesn't pay a lot, but it does involve some travel, which would be Aww. good experience. Thanks for no reason. Hey, I know that. That's bringing a weird bell inside me. What? It's hopeless. My actors desert me and my art is kept hidden from the world. The toil of my psyche oh, no. is enormous. Not that guy again. You mean Frederick and Angelica? Wendy, please take my advice and don't do it. Don't do it, honey. This guy sounds like he really needs some help. He needs 
friends help, but not the help that you can offer, honey. It's not even worth thinking about. I don't think you're quite ready yet. That's not true. Not I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. You'll see. No, I'm afraid that I won't see, child. Because I will not be going with you. What? Oh, I didn't realize she well, also fine, has a fairy tale tattoo. Take this job anyway. Oh my, wait. I know you have a great deal of good intentions, but it's simply not wise to go alone. And what? speaking as the master of this guild, I absolutely forbid it. Why? What? This dude was like a cakewalk. Why are we hassling? It's been there before. Uh -oh. Let me see. Happy. And you as well, Free. Go with them. You seem to be idle at the moment. If that is your wish, Master, I shall. This is the weirdest group of people. What? Why Free? <laughs> this is the why? This is so weird. I kind of thought maybe like Wendy and Happy would be kind of cute, but Free coming with is random. Oh my gosh, children. Uh, Should we really let her go like this? I don't think there's anything for us to worry about as long as Free stays by her side. Yeah. But he's so weird and rigid. Not to mention aloof. Seriously, I can't read that guy at all. His hair also grew back very quickly. Due to a wreck on the tracks, the train bound for Oniba Station is out of service. Oh. So that means oh. I'm just gonna have to walk all the way to Oniba. <laughs> I agree. The matter is settled. Then. I too shall walk. <laughs> it is your wish. My primary duty is to support you. And after all, it's the one rule Master gave me. Therefore, I must follow it. Thank you so much for listening to me. Freed's a cutie. Okay, you know what? I'm kind of happy we have Freed. This is fun. Wendy took the job at the theater? Afraid so. And I was more than willing to go along to help her, but Master thought that Happy and- A, A, E, A, O, K, K, P, Who. I, I fucking love you, honey, but you don't need to go with. Are you already packed? And is it just me, or are you carrying more luggage than normal? Well, this is a special job. The mere sight of these props and costumes never fails to lift my spirits. Sometimes I even amuse myself by recreating the play as a one-woman show. I didn't realize it was that special to you. Or apparently that you have gone completely out of your mind. Why is Urza so funny? Then we should travel there immediately to see that Wendy and the others made it. Well, Lucy? Yeah, okay. Are you coming with us? Why must you insist on meddling? She chose to go in spite of my advice. And besides that, you don't choose a job simply because it's far away and inconvenient. You choose a job that both pays well and hones your skills. I love that Carla is just like still harping and lecturing and Urza's just all glittered eyes like A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U, Hollywood. Hollywood, warm up the vocal cords, honey. You got this. I can sense that there's a thunderstorm coming pretty oh. soon. Yeah, right. This weather is gorgeous. I could easily create an enchantment to shield us from the Aww. elements. It would take a tiny fraction of my magical power to do so. However, the rule is to avoid assisting Wendy as much as possible. Aww. But I am tasked with keeping her safe. If she were to catch cold, I would be to blame. Ooh. Should I take action or leave her be? I don't know what to do. <laughs> <I'm afraid. laughs> I need your guidance, Loxus. For years in the Thunder Legion, I followed your lead. How would you deal with this? I need to know the rules, Loxus. <laughs> uh, I found a cave. Oh. <laughs> no one. Ten out of ten. This might be my favorite episode so far. This is so funny. <laughs> Free is amazing. I am so glad he got to come with. <laughs> He's ridiculous and I love him. <laughs> Squeeze ourselves into such a tiny space. The cat inquires uncomfortably. Yes, of course it is. But if you'd rather get drenched, be Aww. my guest. The young girl replies quite testily. Oh, I hope that all my props and costumes don't get wet. Oh no, Urza, it's gonna be okay, baby. 
I guess they couldn't stand not being involved. It's not How did you go miss now? all that? What in the heck have you been doing? I was sleeping! All right, if they're all going, I don't see why I have to sit around here all day! Not to. Do you think that he knows about the train? Oh my god, what a fucking nightmare! Natsu's gonna be the first one there. He's gonna beat everybody else because he gets to be on the train. This train will make its final stop just before Omiba Station and then return to Magnolia. I repeat, this train will not be reaching the Omiba Station today. We deeply regret this inconvenience. It's, it's not going to the station. Oh, well, that changes everything then. <laughs> I'm afraid that we might have to sleep outside tonight. That cave will serve as a sufficient place to rest for the evening. Though there is the issue of provisions. It's not cheating to help us find food, you know. Even Master would say it's a health and safety issue. Yes, of course. Yes. Within the bounds of this enchantment, Wingfish shall fall from the sky. Wait, hey, Wingfish! Their annual migratory path flows directly over this oh. region. Oh, I thought he was going to eat happy. This is much better. I had no idea you're good at cooking. You know, I do love me a man that can cook. I'm not one to boast, but my comrades in the Thunder Legion enjoyed my occasional dishes, and you might too. That was so good! Yeah. Presentation is very important. You might be moving up to my third favorite guy in the series. Oh. Or not. Nutrition must always trump flavor. We wizards must keep our strength at any cost. Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. I mean, look, he had some that were like kind of crispy breaded. That doesn't sound so bad, you know? Mm. Oh, so hot. Happy. Oh. Hold on. You'll feel better real soon, okay? She knows that spell will drain her magic energy. Yeah. But she's so kind-hearted, she doesn't hesitate. Her concern for others <laughs> is much greater than that for herself. Please, stop. You needn't deplete your power. Allow me to assist him. Reed, what are you doing? It's a concern, a serious concern. I really hoped I was never gonna get cooked again. Um... The results of an enchantment such as this are not always immediate. And once he leaves it, isn't he just gonna get burned up again? I'm fried. Oh, this is a little bit tragic to watch, but Freed's doing his best. Stay back! <laughs> you want to punish me, princess? Oh, come on! I, I need go. you to help Love Urza, you. as you wish. Oh, and Carla, you came too? <laughs> oh. He came because we were worried about you, but it looks like you're doing better than we are. Urza! That. She's oh. stuck. Look how happy Wendy is to see Carla. That's so heartbreaking. I'm still holding on to the props and costumes. What? <laughs> All that stuff must wait a ton. I was I gonna know. say, I was like, oh you no, the props and costumes them. are down well, there. Well, then you were supposed to be putting on a play <laughs> this time. Fucking <laughs> holding them. Farewell, dear friends. <laughs> I will <laughs> always treasure our time together. You know what? For the better, Urza. It's for the better. <laughs> Punish her? Honestly, I think she deserves a little bit of punishment. I can't believe her. <laughs> I love her though. Me too, honey. I would hold on to those theater memories for the rest of my life. Whoa. Oh, good job, Wendy. The storms disappeared. Wow! Oh, yeah! That was awesome! Woohoo! <gasps> you did great, sweetheart! Oh, Carla, I saw that little smile! The actors and myself have all kissed and made up. The play is even open to a sold out audience! Wow. Standing room only! Thank you all so very much. What did we do? Are you kidding? We risked our lives trying to get here and you don't need us? Work like a dog to dig these things up. Oh, honey. All those dreadful wingfish oh, I ate no. are finally getting to me. I think I'm going to be sick. I am. I oh. 
<laughs> it's not Zoo. They finally fixed the dang tracks, so I'm here now. Oh, I must have ridden that stupid shaky train back and forth a million times. This episode has been ridiculous, but this is easily my favorite episode. <laughs> you there! Yes, sir! Please remove these fake rooms from my property. Yes, I'm sir. aware that this is a very big job, but I'll pay you. Huh? Aww. Well, done and done. My first big job is kicking out my friends. <laughs> No shame in it, child. They came here wanting to help you, and now, in a roundabout way, you're simply returning the favor. You're right! <laughs> and thank you all very much as well! I liked it a lot! Alright, so I know I just complimented, like, the episode before about, like, showing off fairy tale really well and, like, its community. This one was so good. I love this. Whether this is like an actual filler episode or not, I loved it. Everything about this is what I enjoy about fairy tale. Like the whole fact that even though like Lucy and Natsu and Grey like didn't like doing the theater stuff and like, you know, didn't want to go back to this dude still were like concerned about wendy enough gray didn't you know but like we're concerned about wendy he he tried to tell her not to he warned her in his own gray way but like try like we're concerned about her and they're like we gotta go make sure she's okay she's off on her job alone like we have to go like so cute and i loved uh first off wendy's little like piggy tails i hope they come back because those are so darling and it kind of helps her look like just a little bit more like grown up. Like she's more capable. And I liked it. I like the little like boop. Like they're not cat ears, but like they're like, like a, like, I guess they're just like a hair accessory. I don't really know what to call them, but they're cute. So hopefully those come back. Cause that was precious. But I like that like Wendy and Carla kind of had differing opinions. Cause Carla's kind of like this, like, parent of sorts to Wendy and she's always like my goodness child like you know being this parent like I don't advise you doing that and Wendy's kind of growing into her own here and she's like I can handle this like I can do it like let me do this and of course I appreciate Master being like I don't want you to go alone but I do want you to get experience with other people who won't coddle you as much and i appreciate that because that's what i wanted when levy offered to like come and help a couple episodes ago that's kind of what i was looking for was to have an episode like this where we got to see wendy kind of make her own choices have that job experience without always having like team urza there holding her hand making the calls so Definitely the number one reason why I enjoyed this episode. Number two, it's just funny. <laughs> Everything about it was hilarious. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, just having a breathe there is amazing. I forgot how much I enjoy Freed and just his goofiness. <laughs> like his like internal struggle of him being like, <gasps> like, if Wendy gets a cold, then like I wasn't protecting her and keeping her safe, but she chose to be out here just choosing to be in the rain. So this is her decision. This is a part of the mission. And I like the dramatic look up at the sky. And he's like, Loxus, help me. <laughs> so funny. I loved it so much. <laughs> like, I I cannot stress that definitely like bumped Freed up on like the scale for me. <laughs> like so funny. And then of course him being like, no, I'll I'll help you guys out with food. And he gets some like the worst food. Prepares it nicely, but like the worst food. <laughs> like he's just so darn funny. And then he was like, no, 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 don't. 
don't waste your magic, Wendy. Like, I'll help. Like, you focus on the mission. And then like, he just ends up boiling happy. <laughs> and like, Wendy's like, but if you're drawing the confines around like this rock, isn't it just going to like get worse? <laughs> like, we have to keep moving. Like, it's not going to work. Like, it's just so funny. <laughs> and then, of course, moving off of that little goofiness of teamwork, um, I love Urza immediately being like, where did Wendy go? She went to the theater without me. And she's instantly just like, A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U. <laughs> like getting herself prepared and she's like oh, i will go and assist wendy don't worry <laughs> like it's so silly i love when we get like the goofy urza moments like those are some of my favorite because a lot of the time she's like either depressio because something in the story is happening or she's just you know being her titania self um or, you know, just being caring, like buying the cake for like the team. And then she's like, and then I'll buy like 200 cakes for myself. I like here where it's like, I loved acting. This is my calling. I kept every single prop from the show we did. And I sometimes reenacted as a one woman show in my bedroom. <laughs> like, it's just so hilarious. <laughs> I love her. I love her in the pieces so much. She's such a little weirdo and I love her. <laughs> um, and then of course Lucy coming along is just nice. Like, oh, like her caring and worrying about Wendy is very sweet. So I like that. And then not to be like, I don't want to be wept out and like coming along. And of course the train is just ridiculous. So it was just fun seeing the misadventures of these like three traveling groups and seeing kind of what is happening to them all, how they're kind of each dealing with the situation upon them. And of course, Carla coming along like a concerned mother, like I told her that she was not going to be able to do this. And she's still lecturing as she's walking with them. Like I certainly wouldn't go back, but she's walking back with them. But I appreciate that they seem to have made up and it looks like, for the most part, Carla has more faith in Wendy's abilities as she should. Because I think Wendy is capable of doing these things. Like we saw her use like the Sky Dragon magic to bump away the like big tornado. She even was like healing happy a bit too. So like I think Wendy is capable of kind of starting to stand on her own. Like obviously she's not like as experienced as anybody else and she still needs you know to have an eye kept on her but i think she's doing great and she's come really far so i'm very excited to kind of see as she continues on in fairy tale and kind of how she grows as one of our companions and how often she'll actually be with our group because we've had a lot of her around lately but i'm interested to kind of get into this next arc and see kind of what happens there and how it all goes but yeah if i had to now pick a favorite episode out of like the 74 we have watched i think 74 is my favorite it's so silly <laughs> it is so goofy it had me just dying of laughter <laughs> easily one of my favorite episodes just because of the comedy it was good I, I would have been sad missing this episode because it was such a blast. <laughs> Especially for an episode that's like not an OVA, you know? So I had so much fun. So thank you guys so very, very much for watching this one with me. Remember, if you like these videos to go down, hit that like button. That way I know you guys enjoy them and I will see you all later. Bye!